In the early 1960s, I was a young teenager living with my family in Los Angeles. One weekend, my parents went into town to go to the New Products Home Show. They came home with a crazy new space age invention called a microwave or radar oven. Nobody had ever heard of such a thing before. They installed it in the kitchen and the family gathered around as mom cracked an egg and put it in a bowl and put it in the microwave and set the timer for about 10 seconds. At about eight seconds, the egg exploded, scaring us half to death. The egg was plastered all over the inside of the oven. It took us a while until we learned how to use this new toy. And we no longer baked our food, we nuked it. I used to have friends and even some of my dates that wanted to come over to the house just to see our magic oven. For a while, it seemed that it even made me more popular at school. None of us really knew how this newfangled gizmo worked. It was just kind of magic to us. It was still several years before these radar uh, ovens became commercially available to the regular public. Years later, I was standing on the bridge of my Navy ship when they lit off our radar array, and I was horrified as I saw it instantaneously uh, fry a bird that was perched up on it. I want to remind you that these are the same microwaves that we were using daily in our kitchen. The microwave range was developed by the Nazis during World War II to efficiently feed their troops. The Soviets began studying it from its inception and found such negative things about it that they outlawed its use in Russia in the mid-1970s. Of course, well over 90% of American homes not only have them but use them daily, so it begs that we ask the certain questions such as, how does a microwave oven really work? And are they good or are they bad for you? Well, microwaves are electromagnetic energy that violently attack the water molecule, causing polarization and friction, which creates the heat. The uneven distribution of the water in the food is the reason that there are hot and cold spots. No doubt they're very convenient, but at what cost? And again, are they good or are they bad for you? First of all, let me tell you the good about microwave ovens. They're cheap, they're fast, and they're convenient. But that's pretty much it. And now for the bad. They decrease food value 60 to 90%. I read some research recently that showed that uh, broccoli lost 97% of its antioxidant content when cooked in a microwave, whereas the same broccoli only lost 11% when it was uh, steamed. Uh, it causes a disruption in the formation and function of your hormones. It disturbs brain function, particularly impacting concentration and memory. It diminishes the function of your immune system. It damages the eyes so that you're more susceptible to things like cataracts. It diminishes the, the uh, or causes change in the heart physiology and rhythm. It increases blood sugar and cholesterol while decreasing white blood cell and red blood cell count, making you tend towards anemia. It increases carcinogens in all foods that are cooked in a microwave and it transforms living foods into dead matter. Now it's been determined that every microwave, no matter how good, uh, leaks mic microwaves into the atmosphere. That coupled with cell phones, TV, transmission towers, and co computers actually surrounds us with a microwave smog that has a cumulative effect on us and our body becomes more sensitive over time. It's clear that we should avoid electromagnetic energy whenever possible. Now, the over overwhelming body of evidence is that it's not only what we eat that's important, but how it is prepared. So, wh I want you to know that raw is best, conventionally cooked is next, and nuked is the worst.